what's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about uh, leg strength uh, and how to build it. Uh, specifically, how to build leg strength when you lack the proper equipment to do so. Um, you know, as fighters, we know that uh, leg strength is key uh, attribute for our success as fighters. Everything relies on proper leg strength, punching, kicking, throwing, all of it, you need powerful legs to perform those actions powerfully. If you're not performing those actions powerfully, you might as well be doing some sort of dance because they're not going to really be harming your opponent. And that is, uh, at the end of the day, the name of the game. Um, you know, unfortunately though, a lot of guys do not have access to, uh, you know, a good Olympic barbell, uh, enough Olympic plates, and a power cage to be able to effectively uh, build leg strength um, with barbells, you know, uh, and it could be due to uh, uh, lack of funds, uh, lack of space, kind of like I have here in my little one car garage, you know, I need mat space so I can shadow box and work the heavy bag and I don't really have a lot of space for a barbell setup, uh, you know, so I have to make do, um, you know, so what do you do uh, when you don't have access to uh, a proper barbell setup? Um, you know, the answer is you get imaginative. You, you, you learn to think outside the box. Uh, and so today I want to talk with you guys about two, uh, two exercises that I feel are excellent at building very powerful, very strong legs. Uh, the first is the heavy ass swing. Now, I've talked a lot about swings in the past, specifically uh, the kettlebell swing. Um, today I'm going to show you a little bit different setup with a T-bar, and I'll show you in just a second what a T-bar is um, and how to load it up so you're not limited just by the size of your kettlebell, you, you actually can load this implement uh, so they're heavy as hell or heavy ass swings. Um, second drill, we're going to be talking about one-legged squats pistols and the uh, rear foot elevated split squat. So first let's go ahead and we'll talk about the um, the heavy ass swing and the T-bar handle. I'll go ahead and get that for you. So the T-bar is a cheap piece of equipment. Uh, this cost me um, 20 bucks at Home Depot and really all it is is uh, some sort of metal plumbing pipe. I got a uh, long piece here. I got this little terminal end that screws on. Uh, got the uh, this T section here and two handles. This wants to handle the implement. I load the weights here and screw them, screw this on. It forms uh, a T-bar and I can load it up. Uh, pretty heavy I've put so far, I've put uh, 170 pounds on this thing, and it's held up very well. I'll go ahead and I'll show you what swinging this thing looks like. All right, so I'm going to load it up. I'm going to put my plates on there. These are 25 pounders, so we're going to put 100 pounds on there. swing form, set up away from it. Kind of have to have a wider stance because of the T-handle here. I'm going to get that lineman stance. I'm going to throw it back, bring it forward. Good swing, pop. T-bar swing. Uh, like I said, you can load it very heavy, and that's the key, really, uh, because this is going to be a deadlift alternative. Okay, um, 
you know, it's going to work the glutes, it's going to work the hamstrings. Uh, and the amount of force, because you have that swinging pendulum-like motion that this drill can generate are uh, pretty amazing, really. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic drill. Alright, so the second drill is the pistol, the one-legged squat. Um, I'm also going to show you the rear foot elevated squat um, in case you're kind of like me right now, you're, um, you're dealing with maybe a knee injury and uh, pistol squats maybe aggravated or maybe you just don't have the requisite mobility needed to actually do a pistol squat. So we'll show you both of those. So I'll give you two options um, for the single leg squat. Uh, so first off, we're going to start with the pistol. I'll get this uh, camera an angle. Get it to a good angle so you can see what I'm doing here. There you have it. Those are two excellent drills that require very little equipment. Most of you will probably already have lying around anyway. Um, give it a shot. Let me know. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Every little bit helps. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.